And let's take a look at our top story. Ibrahim Rasul, ANC Western Cape election head, has called on the city of Cape Town to be placed under administration. The ANC in the Western Cape held a press conference to address the media following the sacking of Patricia DeLille as the member of the DA. The ANC says the infighting in the DA caucus has led to a negative impact on service delivery. As far as we are concerned, Patricia Dallow is the mayor of Cape Town until the IEC declares otherwise. There is no election for a new mayor, but if you want to get rid of the existing one, come there, put a secret ballot in place and cast a vote of no confidence, and then we will see, and that's the political work that the ANC will do in defense of good governance, the rule of law, and constitutionality. The internal crisis of the DA has resulted in an external crisis for the people of Cape Town, and therefore it has to be um, resolved, and the way in which the ANC in the Western Cape is saying it can be resolved is to do what Musi Memani has done, put them under administration, but this time by the national government, because of the impending danger in the budget, as Kobli Faiz had said, because of the evidence of under-expenditure, where people are fighting each other in Scottsdale, in Kanini, in Sikalo and Mitchell's Plain and Freyfront. Meanwhile, the ANC's Western Cape Provincial Secretary, Fayez Jacobs, says there is a service delivery crisis in Cape Town. There's a service delivery crisis and a governance crisis in the city of Cape Town. And I think we've picked it up. 1.2 billion rand that was not spent, that was meant for infrastructure development, that was meant for overcrowding, that was meant to deal with informal incentives, that was meant for services have not been spent. That is a crime. Because national government has given money allocated to the city. It's not as if the city don't have informal settlements. We have more than 400 informal settlements. We are joined by political analyst and advocate Ntuse Le Pepe. Ntuse, thank you for joining us. Now, Ntuse, I have a trick question for you. Yes, sir. Can you tell our viewers who the current mayor of Cape Town is? Because I don't know. <laughs> uh, currently, uh, <clears throat> the office of the mayor has been declared, uh, 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 what called the position of a mayor has been declared uh, vacant. Uh, Cape, the, the city of Cape Town doesn't have a mayor. Up to, as, as I was speaking, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, that move um, uh, is going to be challenged uh, by the, the the outgoing mayor of the DA, uh, Patricia Dilil. Uh, that the, the move by the the speaker or the council it was unlawful and unjustifiable, and is, is, she's also going to seek an an interdict mm -hmm. uh, in the Cape Town High Court, whereby she will be interdicting. Uh, the electoral co uh, commission to uh, conduct a process of getting a new, of electing a new mayor. Okay, now Patricia Delille says the DA has read the constitution wrongly. What is your take on that? Uh, number one, you see, um, the the issue of removing a mayor. Uh, it, it, it's very complex and dynamic. It must be understood. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, in terms, if I start from the, the Constitution of South Africa, the, the Constitution Act 108 of 1996, uh, checking into the provisions of Section uh, 39, whereby uh, there must be an intervention from both provincial, from both national and provincial offices of provincial spheres of governance. Uh, there are requirements whereby that intervention must come in. And in the, in, 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 the, in the current case of Cape Town, we don't see there's nothing wrong whereby uh, you can make a call mm -hmm. that indeed uh, maybe there was some financial management, uh, the misuse of, of, of finances in the, key, in the uh, city of Cape Town, you understand. But what the ANC is calling now is that seemingly the council doesn't know what it's doing and uh, it might affect uh, 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 you know, uh, the citizens of, of, of Cape Town. Right. And therefore, uh, there must be a, a, a national intervention to put the city under administration. And, the, and also, we must also assess to put under the city uh, 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 under, administration, under the administration in terms of which provisions of the Constitution. Okay. Um, to say, baby, we have another guest, uh, Tolani Sotashe. He's on the line representing the ANC in the Western Cape. Olani, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you, Richard. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we have a couple of questions Hello. for you. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you very much for joining us, Kalani. Yes, I can hear you, Richard. I can hear you. I hope you're observing some of the uh, questions that we're asking Mr. Thank Ntuse you very Lepepe. much, Richard. Kolani, tell us about your, your view on what's happening in Cape Town. Yes, in fact, I wanted to chip. Yeah, no, I think firstly, let me correct your, your, your political analyst there. Because he's suggesting that there is nothing that is happening in Cape Town in terms of the mismanagement of finances. Uh, Natasha Mazzoni, I don't know what position she held in the DA. She considered not so long ago that um, there are criminal charges that must be open about um, the issues of mismanagement of finances in the city of Cape Town. So I don't know your political analyst where he lives because uh, where we are now is because of the maladministration and also the corruption that is taking place in the city of Cape Town. You will recall the city appointed a company called um, Bowman to do the investigation. And it's clear in that report, which was seen by everybody, that there is a serious mismanagement of funds. And um, the Auditor General's report speaks to the issue. That's why the city of Cape Town lost its status in terms of clean audit, because the city must account for the money that was paid for the chassis instead of passes. So I do not know now why the political um, analyst is talking about there is absolutely nothing. There is instability in the city of Cape Town in terms of leadership. Those are the requirements in terms of the intervention from national government using Section 139 um, to intervene in the municipality. He talks about there might be, there is no might be. As we speak now, uh, the city of Cape Town service delivery is being compromised. We were in Kailicha two days ago, where people uh, were affected. Uh, I mean, uh, eight people lost their lives. I mean, city of Cape Town was found wanting in terms of intervening there. We were in Helderbeck, where people were toy toying because the city was struggled to remove the refuse. I can go on and on. We were in Mitchell's Plain where people were fighting for the service delivery from the city of Cape Town. So this instability and lack of leadership in the city of Cape Town is compromising service delivery. The issue of mismanagement of finances, it is there. So I think your political analyst before he can actually comment on these issues, he must get his facts right. Okay, Mr. Sutashe, thank you for your, your viewpoint on that. Uh, Mr. Lepepe, I'll, I'll allow you to respond. Yes, <clears throat> I think he uh, is uh, misunderstanding my facts here. Mm. What I'm saying is that, uh, you know, they're calling uh, the national intervention that the municipality of Cape Town must be, it must be put under administration. Mm. You understand? Then I said there are requirements that, that need to be followed to put a, a municipality and administration. The things that is mentioned, they're not new. There are a lot of municipalities that are going through the same thing. There are a lot of, uh, I can give uh, municipalities in Limpopo, municipalities in Northwest, municipalities in, in the Eastern Cape. You understand? So uh, we must not, politi actually they're, they're just plain politics. Mm -hmm. It's true, the DA, the DA house is not in order. The DA is fighting, the, the DA is fighting, they're fighting among themselves. It's, it's, it's clear, you see. But putting a city under administration, it must not, it must be in the interest of uh, the, the, the community of, of Cape Town, mm -hmm. you understand? And there are requirements why the city is supposed to be put under administration. But this one that has been called by the ANC, it's, 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 it's for political reasons and it's not in the best interest of the people of, the, of Cape Town. Another thing, the DA is exposing itself, um, is playing mm -hmm. uh, uh, <clears throat> a, a, a dangerous game mm -hmm. whereby uh, it, it's, uh, there is issue of racial a, a tension within within the DA now that are, that are there for public for, for, for everyone to see. You understand? Uh, like for example, Musi Maimani was speaking about uh, white uh, uh, privilege, privileges against uh, 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 the, the black ones. It, you understand? Then all of a sudden you see senior leaders trying to attack him. Now he's Delilah. Delilah now is being removed as a, as a DA mayor in, in, in Cape Town. You see, that is very dangerous. The DA is supposed to put its, its, its house in order and also yeah. manage, try to Sorry, manage Richard, this, can I this come issue. In? Uh, Mr. Satashi, uh, I think the, the question that really needs to be asked is uh, a lot of people feel the ANC is not really concerned about the residents of Cape Town. 
And um, to that, you say what? Yeah. No, we are concerned. I think, uh, once again, let me say, your, your political analyst, I think he must get his facts right. He's really fumbling because he just speaks the general knowledge now. I'm talking about the facts here. We do have the facts, and everybody's got those facts. They are there. It's for them to see them. Let me come from another angle because the issue of the instability in any municipalities, it must be a matter of concern. It's one of the requirements for the, inter for, for the intervention from national government. Number two, the issue of the financial sustainability of a municipality is another requirement for the intervention. Here we're talking about um, a, a city of Cape Town where it's going to a particular direction, where citizens of Cape Town are be going to be compromised because of the mismanagement of finances within the administration, the corruption that is there in the administration, the lack of leadership that is there in the administration. The fact that Musi Maimane, as a leader of the Democratic Alliance, interfered with the functioning of the city of Cape Town speaks volumes. Musi instructed the councillors of the DA to vote to take powers away from the executive mayor of Cape Town. What's that, what, what does that mean to you? It means there is something wrong. Musi Maimane considered himself that there are problems in the city of Cape Town. So I do not know why your political analyst is not speaking to these issues. Here, the fact that we are raising as African National Congress that the, the report that we are talking about, it's a report that we said it must be investigated and those who are, are, are to be found guilty must face the music. As we speak now, one of the executive directors of the city of Cape Town has been suspended because of this alleged uh, corruption that he, he, she was involved in coordinating this. So I'm talking about facts here. Where is the city manager of Cape Town, uh, Mr. Ahmad Ibrahim? He resigned. Because of what? Because of the corruption that is taking place there, because of the investigation that is ongoing. The last point that I want to raise, um, um, uh, uh, Richard, is, 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 is an issue that really concerns all of us. There, there is a rogue, there is a rogue um, element that is taking place in the city of Cape Town where certain party officials of the, of the DA do not separate the state and, 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 and government. Musi Maimane and conniving with some of the uh, uh, um, councillors within the, 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 the city of Cape Town, they are rendering that administration to nothing. Musi is in possession of the confidential, classified information of the city of Cape Town. The question is, how did he get the access of confidential information of the administration? Because he's not a member of the council. He violated the spirit of cooperative governance. So these are the issues that we're talking about, substantive issues. So I'm, I'm, I'm really requesting to your political analyst, you must not just make general statements here. We are debating substantive issues here. So you must challenge me on the basis of the issues that I, 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 I actually uh, argued on. Okay. Mr. Sotashi, what's the ANC's next move in Cape Town? Well, we are very clear, um, we are very clear, uh, um, um, uh, Richard. The DA is very desperate. There are two things that, might, that might be happening in the city of Cape Town. Because of the extent of corruption that is taking place there, and they want to put everything to this one individual, that is Patricia Delil. All along, Patricia Delil was a, was, a, was, a, was a good mayor of the Democratic Alliance, a good mayor of the city of Cape Town. Within a year, things have changed. So the DA doesn't want to take the responsibility. And secondly, I want to challenge your political analyst. The extent in which the speed that they want to remove the mayor, they want to cover up all these um, um, uh, corrupt uh, practices that are taking place in the administration. Number two, they want to manipulate the issue of the water crisis. Who came up with the issue of day zero? Is mostly my man. There has never been day zero in Cape Town. We know that there are Israel companies who have been promised that they will be getting tenders from the city of Cape Town. That information is there. We know that they have actually inflated 
the capital projects in the city of Cape Town. They are planning to borrow 19 billion rents for water plans for the next five years. So these are the concerning issues. And you ask yourselves, who is benefiting from that 19 billion rents? Is these companies that we are talking about? Ian Nelson, lastly, has declared himself as an acting mayor of Cape Town. I have never heard, even the president can't do that, the only competent body to declare a vacancy is the IEC. IEC has not declared a vacancy in the city of Cape Town. Patricia Delil has petitioned IEC, the city manager, and also the speaker of Cape Town. Her matter is going to be heard on, on, on Friday. Until that matter is heard, the status quo remains. So I do not know what kind of an argument that is your, your political analyst is advancing. All right, Mr. Lebebe, we'll, you'll have the floor. I think he's making a pretty strong, rational argument. Would you agree? And I'm, I'm partially agree with, with, with him, but, you know, somehow it's becoming very economic with the truth. You understand? Uh, it's, it's, uh, the issue of Cape Town, it, it has nothing. The ANC must not speak about uh, corruption as if they, uh, like, uh, they're, they're holy than thou. Uh, ANC is managing most of the municipalities in South Africa. You understand? And there is corruption in most of the municipalities that they're managing. You understand? Now they, they want to, 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 to behave as if they're, you know, uh, they're messiahs of, of, of Cape Town. They can be able to, to run a clean government. It's not true. You know, they're just taking advantage of the problem that the DA has created. Okay. You understand? Within itself. It's true. You understand? Uh, the, the, I'm saying, I'm, I'm not disputing the fact that uh, the city of Cape Town must, put, must be put under administration. In terms of the requirements that are insurance from, from the constitution and also from the municipality uh, system act, you understand? Yes, it's true. There is no leadership mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, the, in the municipality of Cape Town. And that qualifies them to, that qualifies the national intervention as insurance from the constitution. There are, the, where, on that one, I'm agreeing. But the question is that, is this intervention in the best interest of, of, the, of, of, of the majority of, of, say, of, of Cape Town citizens? You understand? It, the, the fact is that it, it's not true. The ANC want to, 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 to make the, the playground to be very fertile for them for, uh, to, to advance for the for 2019 election. You understand? It's politics at, at its best. They're playing politics at its best here. And, and also, the DA is supposed to be blamed for exposing itself to this kind of a thing. It's true. Okay. The, the municipality is, is, is dysfunctional. It's not functioning. So, Mr. Lapepe, I was trying to ask Mr. Satashi this, this, the same question. Would you say the ANC is only interested in gaining back the city? They're very disparate. Not just interest, they are very disparate uh, with all attempts. You understand? The ANC want to regain yeah. uh, 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 authority in Cape Town. They want to be in charge of Cape Town. Disparately so. You understand? That is what I'm saying. It's politics. At, 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 uh, the plain politics, yeah. But, uh, uh, Richard, can I come saying? in? Okay. Let's, let's give Mr. Satashi the last word. Go ahead, Mr. Satashi. Yeah, no, look, Richard, I think in the near future you must. Um, you must bring a credible a political analyst because it seems to me that uh, uh, your gentleman there at studio is representing a particular view. Is he blaming the ANC for, play, for playing its overall, I mean, sorry, its oversight role in the city of Cape Town? Because we are an opposition. We must keep the, the, the government of the day accountable to the people of Cape Town. The DA agrees with us that there is a problem in the city of Cape Town. And I do not know where he lives. People of, Cape, uh, people of Cape Town, citizens of Cape Town are agreeing with us that there is a problem in the city of Cape Town. So it's because of the role that we are playing in the city of Cape Town to make sure that the government of the day accounts to people of Cape Town. So if he's blaming now the oversight role that you are, you, are, you are playing in the city of Cape Town, surely he does not understand the role of the opposition. Uh, because there is absolutely nothing we are disparate about. We will work and make sure that we, 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 we provide an alternative governance. One of the things that we must do is to be in touch with people. It's exactly what we're doing as African National Congress. I have cited many incidents where they have taken place here in the city of Cape Town, where the current government of the day was found wanting. I have cited, I have cited the issues of mismanagement of finances in the administration. He, he agrees with me. In fact, your political analyst is contradicting himself. A few minutes ago, you were saying that we are just playing politics. 
few minutes later, he's agreeing with me with the issues that I'm, I'm raising. And he went further to say the city of Cape Town qualifies to be put under administration. So I'm confused. What is, it, what is his position on the matter? Because we have advanced our, our view as African National Congress. Okay, Mr. Lepepe, I think he, he makes a fair argument. But let me ask you directly. Yes. Uh, is Patricia DeLille a victim of a witch hunt, or is the DA correct in removing her as mayor? No, no, I think uh, the, 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 uh, uh, Patricia DeLille is a victim um, uh, because she said, uh, give me a chance to clear my name. All these allegations of, of uh, maladministration and uh, corruption, please can I be given a chance to clear my name? You understand? That's, that's what uh, she wanted. You understand? But, you know, the DA, you know, it's, it's uh, moving. Uh, you know, I'm, I will also agree with him uh, that, you know, the DA is moving fast to remove uh, Petri P Patricia Delili as, as, the, as, the, as the mayor of, of Cape Town. You understand? Mm. We don't know what, what the reason behind that. You understand? But my concern that I will overemphasize again is that, you know, even though the ANC is playing uh, its, its, its oversight role as, a, as, a, as an opposition party in the, in the city of Cape Town, you know, it, it, must be, it must not mislead us that, you know, the ANC is the, is the only alternative a, a, a party that will come with a clean governance in the, in the city of Cape Town. The ANC is ruling, for example, in, 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 in eight um, uh, provinces, and they have, they, they they also rule in many municipalities where people where, where people are sub subjected to the issue of service delivery, protest, and other things. You understand? So it's just that uh, uh, what the ANC want ex actually in in the uh, 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 what called in the city of Cape Town is to manage the city. They you know that disparate to get the seat and manage it. There's nothing new that the ANC is going to bring in the in the city of Cape Town. We might even see uh, West uh, 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 events happening in the city of Cape Town. I think Mr. Tashi, come come in. Richard. Yes, look, I, 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 I find difficulties to understand your, your guest there, to be quite honest with you, because he's all over. Here we are debating about the affairs in the city of Cape Town. I will leave the, the issue of other municipalities to the leaders that belong to, I mean, to the leaders that are residing in those municipalities. Here I'm putting the facts, and is it disputing what I'm putting forward here? I am saying here, the Auditor General agrees with us as the, as the, as the ANC in terms of the finances in the city of Cape Town. Hence, the city of Cape Town lost its status in terms of clean audit. The city of Cape Town has lost its status. It's black and white. We are saying in terms of the investigation report that all of us we do have, it actually indicates that there is corruption that has taken place in the city of Cape Town. Is it disputing that? I am saying the city manager resigned he did not voluntarily resign because he got pressure because of the corruption that is taking place in the city of Cape Town. The executive director of TTA is on suspension because of corruption that is taking place in the city of Cape Town. Is this gentleman blaming the ANC for playing its role in terms of its oversight role in the city of Cape Town? He must not be obsessed with the ANC. We are not going to speak on behalf of other parties. There are more than, there are more than five party op opposition parties in the city of Cape Town. If they do not raise their voices, it's not our problem. We are playing our role as African National Congress. Of course, when we challenge corruption, uh, like any other party would do, people will begin to listen to us. Of course, when people are in trouble, we are seen finding solutions for the challenges that our people are faced with. People will begin to, to listen to us. We, we are not doing this work because we do not want to govern. Of course we want to govern, but we must earn that trust from our people in the city of Cape You see the problem that I'm having here. This, 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 this uh, political analyst thinks that the city of Cape Town belongs to just only one party, that is the Democratic Alliance. No, no. Here in Cape Town, the, 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 the electorate, if you mess up with them, they will punish you. That's why the DA is found wanting now. They never expected that after they projected themselves as a party that believes in, in clean governance, there will be a day where we are talking about corruption and maladministration in the city of Cape Town. So here, 
Let us not be all over the show. Let's talk about the issues that are taking place in the city of Cape Town. Let us be factual in our debate. So if he's disputing what I'm, I'm advancing here, he must say so and say, no, no, I don't agree with you, Sotash. Um, because what you are saying, he spoke about us misleading. We misleading what? Because the information that we're talking about is the information also the DA councillors have. Okay. Mr. Sotache says the ANC are playing their role. My question to you right now is, will this cost the DA votes in the next election? Definitely. Uh, the DA is going to, to, to lose some of uh, the votes uh, <clears throat> and uh, we'll see uh, most of the uh, opposition parties trying to get some of the vote that the DA lost. You understand? Then uh, we'll end up, maybe we'll end up having a coalition government uh, in, in the Western Cape next year. You understand? So, so uh, the DA decided to shoot itself. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the ANC at, at this position uh, is trying to make sure that they monopolize on, on all issues that the DA messed up and they're trying to, to regain the ground. Okay, but they are playing their role, right? Yes, but the question is that what, 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 what are they going to bring? Are they going to bring something new? That's my question because, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not convinced uh, that is, is, you uh, understand. I'm not convinced that the ANC will bring something new, different from what the DA... What, uh, Mr. Sotasha, will the ANC bring something new? There's nothing new that... Richard. Will the ANC, will the ANC will, 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 bring something we launch, new? We will launch our money first of... Of course, because we're living in a two-tailed city here where there is a city for the poor and the city for the rich. All we want to bring to the fore is that we want to integrate the city of Cape Town where people can live together in harmony and, 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 and peace. So that's what we are going to bring. We are going to bring a situation where racism is rooted out in the city of Cape Town. People are not judged on the skin of their color. People are treated equally. That's what we are going to bring, which the DA is actually now perpetuating here in the city of Cape Town. All right, Mr. Satashe, let's leave it right there. I'd like to thank my guest, uh, Mr. Olani Satashe and Ntuse Lebebe for their time. Thank you for your insights and analysis. Remember, you're watching Prime Time on Afro Worldview. More news after the break. Stay tuned.